Hi, I'm Jake Thomas. And I'm Megan Flynn. And this is our franchise business plan for Chick-fil-A. Now, firstly, why do we want to be a part of the Chick-fil-A family? Chick-fil-A on their website, you'll see this quote, uh, we may be in the restaurant business, but really we're all about serving people. We really believe that this sums up most of what Chick-fil-A stands for. And they've been around for 74 years in that time, as this quote says, they are known for their renowned customer service and exceptional food featuring mainly chicken items on their menu. And from personal experience, we've both had uh, great experiences with Chick-fil-A and their customer service and their famous phrase, my pleasure. In addition, Chick-fil-A's goal is to glorify God by being a faithful steward of all that is entrusted to us and to have a positive influence on all who come into contact with Chick-fil-A. This further exemplifies how much emphasis that they put on the importance of customer service and their customers overall. Now, why do we want to franchise a Chick-fil-A? Firstly, there's two main reasons. It is opportunistic for us, and it also has a lot of growth potential overall in the industry and in, a, in our location. In terms of a financial standpoint, the total revenue of a Chick-fil-A is much well above all of its competitors at 4.4 million, with McDonald's being the second highest at 2.7. Not only is Chick-fil-A growing as a corporation, but the entire industry has grown tremendously over the past 10 years. And from 2020 to 2027, the industry is expected to grow at a 4.7% compound annual growth rate, which is expected to increase to $932 billion. And Chick-fil-A itself has grown its three revenue three times since 2009 from 3.2 billion to 10.5 billion. Now our location growth potential. So our location, we chose New York City and more specifically the Bronx. Now, New York City is very large and has a large population, and in the Bronx specifically, it is also very densely populated. So we can believe that uh, expansion will be pretty easily since there's a lot of people around. And furthermore, the first New York City location opened up in 2015, and what happened was a lot of people wanted to go there, so the lines were long, and people ended up waiting hours for Chick-fil-A sandwiches. And since we are also in a similar location, we can expect to see the similar outcome. Now, how will we do it? Now, there are four main things that we're concerned about. Firstly, the costs, management, our service, and our marketing. Let's talk about the costs. In terms of costs, the corp Chick-fil-A Corporation uh, covers all the real estate, covers all the con construction costs, as well as the equipment with a $10,000 franchise fee, as well as you have to rent the Chick-fil-A building out through all the years. We are expected to put $10,000 down for our corporation fee, as well as 40 from me and my partner, Megan. That will cover all security measures, inventory and equipment, as well as we're expecting to up our investment to make sure that we keep our security tight due to location, as well as we will pay 8,000 to 13,000 per month for inventory, such as the chicken and everything else that will happen. Now, when it comes to management, Jake and I will be the managers at the Chick-fil-A location, but we will also hire an assistant manager and that will be determined by either who is there the longest or who has the most leadership potential, et cetera. And in addition, Chick-fil-A has around 2,605 locations with over 32,000 workers, and that comes out to an average of 12 people per location. So with that being said, we would like to start there and hire around 12 members for staff. We're not exactly sure how busy or how slow we'll be at first, and don't want to over hire and have to lay people off in the future or under hire. In terms of service, we understand there's a pandemic going on right now. So we're trying to adjust our needs and concerns to where we also understand there is no dining right now. So we're gonna have to revolve around that. So we have to turn to alternatives such as a drive-through or takeout. Uh, unfortunately, many people in New York do not have a car that is accessible. So the drive-through is not an option for many people. So to go is gonna have to be a big option where people can order on our mobile app or our website. And we're expected to make sure we're doing that as efficiently as possible so we can serve our people as quickly and easy as possible. Next, we're gonna talk about our marketing. So as we've already mentioned, New York City is very big and they have a lot of tall buildings. And thinking of Times Square, there are many billboards and other flashy things that you can see all around. So, and this also follows in the Bronx. We would also take a traditional marketing approach and use these billboards and other um, things on the buildings to get our Chick-fil-A out there. And since we are in the digital age, we would also increase our presence on social media, mainly by creating an Instagram page, 
uh, where we have our account. And then we would also have our location that people can add to their photos and a hashtag that they can use to connect with us even more. Now, here are our goals. On the short term side, we want to break even in sales in the first few years, uh, particularly two years as well as we want to increase our advertising and make us well known. We want people to know about the new Bronx location, not just in the Bronx, but within New York as well. And we want to expand that advertising to more welcoming things in our community. And we want to create a healthy environment. We don't want our Chick-fil-A to just be a restaurant. We really want it to be a place of community and people can have a sense that they can be there, have a good time, eat great food, et cetera. As well as on our long-term goals, we want to exceed the normal profit goals for Chick-fil-A, uh, which is currently 4.4 million. We think with a new location and a growing industry, our goal of exceeding that is well within reach in five to 10 years. As well as we wanna keep our four star rating that Chick-fil-A has, their main goal is customer service and we do not wanna disappoint them. And we feel that we have to keep a four star just to do that. As well as we wanna bring the community together. We wanna make it a place, as we said, where people can feel welcome, they can eat great food and they don't have to feel like, you know, they're rushed to get out. We want them to feel happy to be there as well as we want a 90 to 95 percent positive customer feedback touching again on chick-fil-a's great customer service we believe that the high percentages are needed in order to uphold our beliefs as a chick-fil-a franchise now our projected outcome goes as follows so in roughly two years we believe that we will be in no excessive debt and be able to pay off most of our expenses our expenses that haven't been paid off already in addition, our total revenue, as Jake has already stated, we expect to be around the 4.4 million mark and maybe even above. And we will use that to cover expenses such as the 15% sales tax fee, insurance, leases, equipment, and other taxes that we have to pay off. And our profit margin is around $650,000. We will use that to pay our employees. And then we believe that we each will inherit I upwards of $100,000 and then whatever is left over, we will use to increase our uh, franchise. Now, what do you say? Will you let us franchise a Chick-fil-A? How do I stop this recording? Hit stop share at the top. Nope. Okay. <laughs>